This project is the single largest capital investment that the, the university has ever taken on. This project will create a new front door for all future visitors that visit the campus on an annual basis. This project consists of three academic buildings, two multi-use pavilions, in addition to the existing art museum and a new landscape park area. As every building touches each other, uh, we've been able to incorporate using our BIM technology, bringing that to this project. That allows not only our teams to understand their own respective component of the project, but also to communicate to their other team members. And then that also allows us uh, to communicate clearly to the client on where our schedule currently stands. And more importantly, the issues that come about when you're building on a campus that has buildings that date back to 1904. Think about McCarthy having an interaction with multiple designers, multiple people from facilities planning and management, multiple end users and multiple schools, and all that has to come together and develop simultaneously because one element can't get left behind the other. McCarthy's done a great job and been a good team partner in managing and holding the team accountable, but also listening to areas of concerns and figuring out paths to overcome obstacles of concern. So there's an entire outline that we put together for how McCarthy is going to approach VDC using BIM tools um, and looking for opportunities for us to enhance our delivery to our client. Uh, what's important to also recognize though too is the direct benefits that the client receives from the VDC process here, especially on a project like the WashU project. Um, looking at 3D coordination for example, bringing the client into our coordination meetings, allowing us to effectively make decisions that we build things right the first time uh, was paramount on all these buildings. Um, giving the client the opportunity to look at 4D scheduling and actually see the construction sequencing of all the self-performed concrete we're putting in place digitally uh, so they can have an understanding of how fast we're pouring the concrete, what that schedule was every month, and why decisions need to be made in a timely manner so that we can move the project forward at the construction schedule we promised them. We try to bring a visual component uh, so that these folks uh, can understand their project and have less of an aha moment um, and more of a, okay, that's exactly what I thought I was going to get when we turn this project over. And it's through those processes that we've started to really get rid of a lot of these change orders and really start to get more efficient. The value that that brings to the project is really just making sure everyone knows what the goal is. And the goal is a good quality product and then, and then getting it done on time. And, and having that resolved is, is probably immeasurable from the owner's side. Early interaction between uh, the owner, the architect, and your construction manager with very thoughtful laid out plans with a lot of early communications about the impacts on which to, to expect. And McCarthy's done an outstanding job of being a, a valuable team member through that process.